Okay, in this video, we're going to go over something called uh, Euler's Theorem, or Euler's Formula. And it has to do with volumes of what are called polyhedrons, or polyhedra is the plural. Now, a polyhedron is basically just a solid. It's a three-dimensional object in space. So things like, you know, pyramids, like the Great Pyramids of, of Egypt, for example, or cubes, you know, which is a common... Uh, volume that is used like with boxes or even with building houses or buildings. And in this uh, video, I'd like to go over some vocabulary. And the vocabulary, again, is polyhedron, face, vertex, vertices, plural, edge, and then Euler's formula itself, which is vertex minus edges plus face will always equal two which is an amazing uh, formula when you think about it, right? That all solid polyhedrons will actually have this formula attached. And this is useful um, because, you know, like electricians use it quite a bit, for example, or plumbers will use it quite a bit when they're building plumbing in houses and in, in uh, buildings, that sort of thing. So let's get started. So again, I said that a polyhedron is singular, is simply a solid three-dimensional object in space, right? Along the X, Y, and Z axis, you can describe it. Now, the face is simply, let's just take actually this one. It's a little bit easier to see. It's just what it means, what it implies. It's the square side, for example, of, of a cube. It would be like this were a dice. It would just be the one side of a cube. That's known as a face, and it's abbreviated as F. Okay? Now, the vertex would be these little round red dots. It's where the two lines of any, or three lines of any, solid meet. Okay? And that's, again, called a vertex. It's vertice in, is plural. Now, the edge is where two faces, or two planes, meet. Okay? So, for example, that, let me just use a different color where this face and this top face meet would be called an edge, okay? And again, that would be abbreviated as E. Again, this would be, let me just use the right colors here. This would be a vertex, and that would be the face. Let's just get all those in there. Okay. Now, Euler's theorem, again, is very specific. It says if you take the number of vertices, subtract the number of edges, add the number of faces, you will always get two. Always get two. Now, let's try a problem and see if we can do it, and then we'll go back and count one of these and see if it actually works. So here's my problem. If I have a solid or polyhedron, and it has six faces and it has 12 edges, how many vertices will it have? All right, so let's just use this formula and let's just go ahead and substitute. So we know that we have, um, vertices is what we're looking for, right? So we'll just say V minus edges, we said is 12, and we said there's six faces plus six, and we know that will equal two. Now remember your algebra. You go ahead and you need to uh, gather like terms. So we're going to say that's step one, step two. Negative 12 plus 6 is actually negative 6. And that's equal to 2. Let's add 6 to both sides. And you get V is equal to 8. Okay? Now, we happen to have a polyhedron that has six faces and 12 edges, and it happens to be this cube. Let's go ahead and see how that has six faces. We know that we have one, two, in the back, three, along the base, four, this face that I uh, shaded in, five, and then the opposite face, six. We have six faces. How many edges do we have? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Let's go to the bottom. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's go along the sides now. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So actually, a cube 
fits this solid polyhedron. Does it have eight vertices? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It actually does. Okay? Now what I would like you to do is to prove that this formula, Euler's theorem, actually follows and is true for this particular pyramid shape that we have up here, okay? And I'll let you do that on your own. Okay, I hope this, um, I hope this video was helpful.